puppy. White one. Hello, welcome back to Dink's Seven Cabin. Today I'm with my good friend. Hey, I'm Shaggy or Shag Wellens Way. Trip down Center Drive, check it out. Today we're gonna look at this bag I got. Um, I got this down at Clover. It was their most expensive product as far as their rosin went. It was this new product. Um, Cole helped me out. Um, what the hell is this product called? This is a white horn rose. White horn. Or no, my bad. I apologize. White thorn rose. White thorn rose. Um, and from... Hi, puppy! <laughs> Boti Cannabis. Lily. I'm not the only one. I love the name. I love the name. And I hope the rosin makes me say it. I hope it does. Oh, I would man. love for it. Well, you, you bought it. You got it. No, go ahead. First. Go ahead. Open it up. Let's see what okay. it smells like. So the white thorn. Ooh. It smells nice inside. Like almost like a batter. Or oh, yeah. Through. It's pretty nice. I like Which that. I actually, I do prefer that almost over the shatter. Just preference. My oh, I preference. I love batters. Was. Awesome. Let me see it smells like. So, yeah. It smells like. It smells beautiful. There's the box. The inside. Name. Very uh, floral. Yeah. Sweet. Flora and fruit are fruity at the same time. Yeah. This will say more back. berry than like citrusy. So. So I'm not gonna tell you the price. Did you see the price? No, I did not. Okay, good. So I'm not gonna tell you the price until after you tell me if you like it or don't like it. What do you think, folks? I oh, think wait, we gotta that. dry these out. Oh yeah, we gotta take those out. We have a towel here. That one's nice and clean. Here, I'll clean that off for you. So, I was in Colorado um, for 420. One thing I'll say is our flour beats their flour just because it's so dry oh, yeah. out there. So they turn a lot of stuff into wax. Oh, yeah. Their wax prices and everything destroy our Oh yeah, I've seen that recently. Like my, I got like <coughs> that would be like seven, maybe not seven times, but like close to it mm -hmm. for like thirty dollars for rosin. Right. And then I get some like it's really high quality stuff. And then my buddy got eight grams of wax. It wasn't rosin, but it was like a good line dressing. Um, eight grams for uh -huh. fifty bucks out the door. Yeah, man, I've seen some pictures. They were sick. I'll have my sleeve I can see if I did man. That was awesome, like that's why I love everywhere I go I try to uh, try to stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I wanna see what like, what are you what are you guys known for? What's your good stuff Because I always bring my own quality right. so I have with me. But like I wanna know what their high quality is. What's your shit? Yeah, what's that's what's cool. your fancy? Folks, is the old school way of doing it. <clears throat> this is yep. the new school way of lazy. We have a pure lazy answer here. Always back of the palm. It's a way to tell. It's like the most sensitive to really know. Make sure not to burn yourself. Yeah. A little dot. Sorry. Everybody's done it. Everybody. Oh man, the first time I saw somebody do a dab, we we're warning them right off the gate. We're like, don't touch the nail. And this is back <coughs> to the. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> One porcelain something. If you say porcelain. nail, you mean like nail and globe? Like we have No, no, no. It? Like the not the titanium nail, but the like the ceramic ones. Ceramic ones, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those white ones. And we're he literally we're doing it. My friend gives him the dab and everything. And then immediately 
grabs it, puts it down in like half a second, but like grabs a bowl like a bowl, or grabs a nail like a bowl, puts it down and just has some big old blisters. Damn. Right off the gate. Damn, that's brutal. Yeah. That's why you gotta be careful, folks. But if you've ever dabbed, you've, everybody's done it. Don't worry. Don't think yourself in I've burned myself many times. Done it. I'm, you know, they've seen me. You want cheers? Cheers, man. It's too hot to worry about it. Um, <coughs> really Holy crap. Well, it's really good. It tastes good. That's a good initial just front smack of the temple yeah. right behind the eyes. We're going to have to give it a minute before I get my full ring, but I don't think it's a double shaka, but you can get shaka. I'm not sure where I said Maybe two thumbs up. Well, I just, you can't go off the initial hit either, fellas. Uh, Good initial taste. So my chest hurts a little bit, folks. Um, I'm recovering pretty quick. You okay? Oh yeah, I'm okay. a coffer. Okay. It could be a bowl of joint, whatever. I call <coughs> No worries, coffee all the way. So anyways, I'm, I'm doing okay. Um, the high for me is a little bit better than the last one. But, yeah. um, I'm actually enjoying this one. Good flavor, good taste. Is it worth what I paid for? <coughs> Let's find out. <coughs> so, what do you think of this one? What do you, what kind of, what do you think of this? Do you like it? I do like it. I think it's a really good initial taste. Um, kind of like a creamy fruity. Okay. Um, this is kind of what I got off of it. I got a great flavor too. Yeah. Um, flavor profile, hundred percent. Um, I think it has a really good, very initial punch too. Like the last one, like it kind of like you feel it's a little pick me up. This is definitely like get you right off the get, uh, right off the first punch, uh, which I like. Um, with it easing off. Uh, I feel like it's a. Definitely not a super indica. Like I don't feel like tired. I feel like a good chiller. Nice hybrid. Um, rest in the body, which I like. I I give this like a very solid two thumbs up. I can't get maybe maybe Shaka. Like it's definitely not some of the best wax. Not the best wax I've had, but it's really really good. I'd probably put it up like top top fifteen, top ten maybe. I think you've done a good job. I, I really like it. Is it worth the value? I don't know. But um, I do like it. The flavor profile is similar to what you said. I got a real floral, sweet flavor. Like kind of a a nice fruity flavor that you want to keep continue to consume. I'll tell you that much. Um, the high on it is a weird like high like this. That's how I feel. Like yeah. I kind of feel like I've gone through this weird like... I wasn't high, but as you could see, while he was giving his review, I was kind of like, kind of, I'm a little out of it. So I think my high is going to come and go on this one. But let me see. So if I told you how much this one costs, here, let me show you here. Is that the kind of price range you were thinking? 70 initially before. So I always like to look at things before tax. Yeah, so, so like before tax, it's in the seventy dollar price range. Seventy dollar range. I think that's reasonable. Really, really, really. The yeah, yeah, tax really isn't really reasonable. reasonable holding it yeah. accountable for the no, taxes, and it's, it's fault. That's our own yeah. fault for not complaining to our 
people in our own yeah, city. Yeah, and people just keep adding on to it. That's what annoys me. Like, like, oh, well, it's not going to affect your area. Any taxes adding on to cannabis is going to affect your prices. So, oh, yeah. if you see t uh, added tax to any cannabis, even if you think it's going to be somewhere way away, it is added to your tax. Yeah. Um, well, you know, the excise tax is a state tax. So you got two state yeah. taxes. But that's why you uh, get your MMIC. It takes less than two hours and $84 total is all it cost me. Mm, and I've yeah. saved more than that. It's, yeah. If you already have your rec, then it's only 44 through the state. But yeah, I don't have that. So <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Trust me, do it. Like I, it took me forever not to, and I did it in less than two hours. And like that was hopping on the bus to go to the place and coming back. Like mm -hmm. very, very easy to do and you save a bunch of money, but you do have to say the state will know that you smoke weed now. Like you have to sign a paper. So I think the state already knows. That's up to you, but yeah, exactly. Like I do it's my whole job, so fuck yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Might as well save more money. Exactly. Exactly. Especially if you're buying wax, you would make that your money back in no time. Oh yeah. yeah. I, uh, but well, anyways, we're not gonna talk about that. All right, so uh, you give it your thing. So my review, did I give my review on it? No, you didn't give a the rating didn't yet. Give my final review. Okay, so now I'm really going and enjoying the high. But is it worth the price for me? Seventy bucks. I mean, I paid a little bit more for some of the others. First time I've ever seen them. It's the only flavor they had. First time on the market. Hmm. I think I'd give it two thumbs up. I don't think I could give you the full double shaka or shaka yeah. just because the high isn't completely there. That's the disappointment for me yeah. at the price range. You should be, I should be like floored. I should be like, oh my God, bro, I can't move. <laughs> that's, that's how I should be. And then in that range, you'd get the double shaka. But without being in that range, I can't give you that. I can't even give you the shaka because I wouldn't want people to go out, buy this product, and think, hey, man, take seven cab and give it the shot. No, I did not. I did not. I gave it a two thumbs up. It's a nice high, but it's not It's not that shock a high. So be weary when buying this because you're going to pay a lot. And unfortunately, I don't think you're going to get the high you're looking for. But that's just me. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to, like, scare people off because... I do like it. Do try it in some respects. You know, the flavor is super fire. I mean, I'm going to keep smoking it. I'm going to enjoy it. I do have, I do like how it lingers on like your lips too. I think I might, I mean, the, the the big question for me is always would I buy it again? And I think, yeah, I'd buy it again, but I'd buy it for somebody else as a gift. Yeah. yeah. I'd probably, I mean, if we carried it in my shop, I, I'd probably buy it like, with my discounts or anything. <laughs> but it's solid. It's solid, you know? It's, I, I really, I, I did, I'd give it the two thumbs. You know, good taste and lingers. I, I'm, I'm a sucker for batters, too. Like, batters and butters, all that. Like, I just prefer them, you know, over some of the others, so. It does have a weird taste it leaves in your mouth. That part, I'm not sure I like too much. I'll uh, say I'm opposite. Like, it does leave that taste, but... I, for me, I kind of like that. It doesn't really go away. It's like, um, uh, now it's on my tongue. Great. Okay, well, <laughs> it's moving well, down for me. I'm just going to leave it there yeah, and you know, make everybody just happy with just two thumbs up. Because honestly, at this point, we're moving way down the road. See you guys next time on Dick's Yeah. Hey, tell everybody, thanks. To, think, go check out Sh uh, uh, Shaggy's channel, please. Yep, so Shagwell's Way or a trip down Stoner Drive. Um, I just interviewed... Um, Michelle Rhodes, she competed in High Rollers, which is a cannabis and jiu-jitsu con competition. Sick. And it's actually, there's one that's subversive that'll be in uh, San Diego July 22nd, so I'll be covering that event. Oh, okay, uh, cool, so cool. Cannabis, jiu-jitsu, it's fun. And my Denver Stoner Guide, is co or City Guide, is coming out soon. All right. Well, you know, maybe Dave Stavon Cabin will go down there and check that yeah. out. I, I do yeah. have a friend here in OB who plays that, does all that. You know, I'm going to go hit you up, bro. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, well, we'll check that out. Yeah. But anyways, thanks so much, Shaggy, for coming on the channel. We appreciate it. Um, we, we will have a couple more videos with him in it. Please check those out um, and do check out his channel. All right, see you guys next time. Um, I got this one over at Clover. Let me make sure to give them a shout out, as well as the guy that helped me out, Nicole. Now, I did have a little hard time check getting checked in. 
But <clears throat> at the end of the day, they let me in and everything was gravy. So <clears throat> they are a great place to go. They have a wide variety of stuff. <clears throat> it's just, you gotta know what you're looking for. See you guys next time on Dinks Adam Kevin. Bye-bye.